guys who am i dating did i suck somebody's dick sorry sorry <laughs> did i smack somebody <coughs> sorry Ooh. hi everyone how are you my name is paris fenty and i am from season five temptation island and if you click this video it's because you don't mind your business and you are nosy me personally i wouldn't take this level of disrespect it's okay, I'm nosy too. But I'm gonna be telling you guys what really happened on the island. So, the first question that we have here is from Christian Tesoreiro. He said, we know Christian liked you. Did you have fun with him? I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Christian was like the best guy on our villa. Well, Christian and Christian, to be honest, and Mike. Um, I really enjoyed my time with Christian because he was really fun. I had a, I had a big crush on him. Don't get me wrong, and I felt like I felt like I should have left the island either single or with Christian. The next question is, did you suck Tajik's dick? Well, what really happened was nice. Good, good. I didn't, guys. I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm lying. Okay, I'm lying. I didn't suck his dick. Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop the cap. You know, we didn't do nothing besides kissing, to be honest. So, if I would have like had sex with him or like suck his dick, and I found out all the stuff that I know now, I think I would have gone crazy. Like, I would have gone crazy. So, I'm glad I didn't do anything. You know, I had self respect. If there was no cameras, I would suck his dick. But I can't because there's cameras. <laughs> so Here you go again. Like always, because you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, do you know if Nafisa and Gray are together? I'm here to tell you right now. We don't care. Let me tell, right, let me tell you. <laughs> to be honest, I'm the kind of person that if I cut you off, I don't care what you're doing in your life. I don't even lark on your page. So I don't know what they're doing with your life. I don't really care, to be honest. Like, and people might think I'm trying to like fake it right now, but I just don't care. I feel like if you don't add any value in my life, why would I be caring what you're doing? Like, if they're together right now, it's none of my business to be honest, okay? Someone said, has Greg contacted you since the reunion? Well, after the reunion, to be honest, like, we were still upset at each other, but something really happened something that has to do with court and you know crazy stuff i'm not gonna mention and right now i want nothing to do with that weirdo that's what i'm gonna say i want nothing to do with that weirdo you know mm. okay so someone said both singles talk to tajik or sebi so i never really talked with tajik to be honest and with Sebi, you know, like, I reply to his stories and stuff like that. And, you know, like, we comment on each other's posts. Like, you know, like, regular stuff. Like, I like Sebi, to be honest. Even though I think you to tell us how you really feel about Chris, though. I am disgusted after the reunion. So, I feel again, again and again. I'm not trying to make this a race thingy. I'm not, but I feel like a lot of black men they need love from their dad they do again i really think the reunion when alexis was crying about the baby i really wished that christopher had more sympathy like even though he didn't know if he was the father or not again i don't know what happened between them but i really wish that he could have at least tried to like have a little bit of sympathy for her because losing a child that she would drive me fucking crazy like that shit, especially having sex on TV and then having to say, okay, that you lost a child and that the father wasn't being supportive. It's like, it's hurtful. So I just wish, you know, that he was more like understanding. And again, Christopher, I have a lot of love for you and I really appreciate you for like always, you know, hearing me when I have things to vent. I really appreciate Christopher. Hmm. Did Kaylin punch Hall in the face like she should have? She didn't punch Hall and Come on, man. It's bad. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not saying I am abusive. I'm not. 
But I feel like Hall deserves some ass whooping. <laughs> Hall deserves some ass whooping. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but like when he came and he broke up with Kaylin, I was like, really, Hall? I was really about to go there and fight him. But I was like, okay, like, you know, like, I can't put hands on somebody. And if I do, I'm gonna get sent. Like, they might send me home. What have you learned about yourself after the show? So, after the show, I learned that I always put people first before myself. Like, I care too much about others. And I need to stop doing that because all, like, all the hurt that I got from, you know, family, friends, relationship, it was always because I was trying to help others, okay? Because I didn't have to leave the show with Tajik. He begged me to leave the show with him. Bro, what are you talking about, man? He was like, be my girlfriend, I'm gonna fly you out, blah, 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 blah. He even told me he loved me. So I was just like, am I, 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 you know, I was like, hey, you know, he's a content creator, let me help him and leave the show with him because he was a nobody. So I was like, let me leave the show with him, you know, and help him with his platform or something. And look what happened. It's only a game. Why do you have to be mad? That, well, Mark made me realize that I blame myself a lot for the things that happened in my childhood. I blame myself a lot and I need to stop doing that. Like when things go wrong, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's my fault. It's me, it's me, it's me. Like how people treat you have nothing to do with you. That's just how they are. Like some people might ghost you. That's because somebody in the past ghosted them before or they just don't know how to receive love. Like someone asked, will you go back to your ex? Okay, when you throw up, do you eat your throw up back? When you throw something in the trash, do you go and recycle? Bro, what are you talking about, man? You don't, right? Think, just think. That's the answer for you, think. Someone said, are you dating anyone? Well, 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 I am engaged! Psych! <laughs> I wish, no. So, am I dating anyone at the moment? I'm getting to know someone at the moment, and... Best and worst part of Temptation Island. The best part is that the production team and the casting team and the casting whatever, they are amazing. I won't even lie to you guys. Like they really took care of us, that I can't lie. You know, they were very kind when it came to me always being a crybaby and crying. And I really appreciate that. I think the best part of Temptation Island is like getting to know people and you know of course like sharing your story you know on TV you know like making sure that there is someone out there that that you are saving by sharing your story the best part about Temptation Island is Mark okay Mark might say that he's not a therapist but I really think that guy is special you know, like again, I don't want to accuse him of being therapist because he told me he's not. But I really think he have a gift in him. Like, I just think like the ability of understanding people without judging them and making them realize like, hey, this is not your fault, you know. He's just so, I don't know how to explain, like, honestly, I felt like if Mark wasn't there, I wouldn't be this person that I'm at right now. I mean, I just feel like if Mark was not the host of the show, I don't think I would have changed. Like, even though, you know, sometimes I get triggered, but I feel like because of Mark, I am more calm and I tend to understand men better. I don't judge people anymore. Like, I don't care about what people have to think about me at all. And it's like, I learned, sorry guys, I learned to put myself first. So, the best part, about Temptation Island is Mark, okay? Imagine having a host that actually understands you without judging you. Like The worst part about being on Temptation Island is that 
When someone is doing you dirty on the show, you can't call your friends or your family to give advice. And I'm the kind of person, like when I'm going through a lot of, you know, through relationship problems, I like to call my friends and my family. And the fact that I couldn't call them to explain to them what I'm going through, it was hard because I'm like, okay, like I know, okay, like I know how to tell red flags on people. I don't think you have the facilities for that big man. <laughs> but I feel like it would be easier for me to notice like, hey, these people don't care about me. If I had, you know, my best friend or my, or you know, like my friend and stuff like that. So I think the worst part about Temptation Island is that when you get there, you are on your own, okay? Like that's your own journey. I'm telling you, like you don't, you don't like, you don't even have your phone to call your friends. You don't have your phone to be on Temptation Island. It's the fact that you don't have your phone with you, okay? So if somebody's cheating on you, you cannot Google. What does it mean if my man is eating ass on TV? Come on now, dog. Come on, man. Does he still love me? You don't have no internet. You don't have your family. So someone said, are you still with Tajik? Hmm. Guys, we're gonna take a commercial break, okay? I'm playing. So, am I with Tajik? <sighs> okay, before I go, I wanna thank God for protecting me on the island and always be there with me. I wanna thank Kaylin. I love you. I wanna thank, I, I wanna thank Christian, Christopher, Mike, and Christian. Yeah, anyways, I wanna thank everybody.